So I'm here with Adrian Hoffman, who's the Barossa representative for the Wine Grape Council South Australia. Today we're here in Chinunda for the Wine Grape Growers Summit. What does it mean for Barossa growers to have a summit like this? I think, I think it's great that the summit has moved out to the regions. Um, for the Barossa to host the first one, I think it's been a great honour. Um, but I think it's very important for all state growers to actually get involved in the summit because today we're actually uh, hearing about succession and uh, the planning of family business, which I think is very important for future generations. How long have you been a representative of the Wine Grape Council SA and what led you to take on the role? Um, I suppose I'm now in my second term. I took on the role from, I suppose, other people that had a real passion about driving the industry forward. Um, I suppose it was my, I thought it was my time to actually give, give back to, I suppose, the state organisation from a local point of view. I'd been doing it uh, for over oh, 15 years, I would think. Um, but I thought, you know, not time to uh, step it up a bit and get involved at a state level. Um, and I'm really enjoying, I'm really enjoying the challenge. And I think it's, uh, you know, it also benefits me and also the business that I'm running. Why is it so important for South Australian wine grape growers to have representation at the state level? I think to have representation at the state level is very important. Um, number one, it gives them a voice, um, especially in the areas that are required, uh, at government, at other regional uh, bodies, um, and also national bodies as well. Um, to get those uh, collaborative ideas together, to see what issues are burning on, uh, not just from a Barossa point of view, but what, you know, if there is a like issue in other regions, to make sure that those uh, issues get addressed in a timely manner, to make sure that grape growing can continue um, and be very productive. So you spoke today at the summit and you spoke about loyalty and sticking with your agribusiness providers. What tips do you have for grape growers to maximise the relationships they have with service providers? I think it's taking the time to actually spend with your bank manager, with your accountant. Um, we heard also from other speakers that were talking today as well about you know making making sure that you do spend the right amount of time with those people. Um, people that are moving their businesses ahead are most probably spending anything from two to three days. For those who are actually really looking at strategically uh, planning their businesses moving forward are most probably spending closer to a week a year. It doesn't mean you have to do it in a block but to make sure that you're actually spending the time on your business um, and to drive it, you know, to make it go further, drive it further. You're also on a panel of Barossa growers discussing the importance of strengthening regional communities. Why is this important? Uh, well, I'm a fifth generation Barossa grape grower and I think you know that's one of the real assets that I've got from a marketing point of view that a lot of other grape growers don't have, um, not just in South Australia for, but from around the world. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for us to, I suppose, work on our strengths, develop our strengths and make sure that the grape growing communities stay strong and focused on what they need to do and that's creating those stories that people buy, buy a bottle of wine for. And now one last question for you, Adrian. What is your favourite wine variety to drink at the moment? My favourite wine variety, uh, if I have to go outside the Barossa, um, I would say Barossa Shiraz because 75% of what I grow is Shiraz. Um, but if I was to go out elsewhere, um, I'd definitely take a Claire Riesling, um, particularly one that's, well, I think it's just actually won a trophy at the Sydney Wine Show, uh, a John Hughes number no. three Claire Valley Riesling, grown by a family friend of mine, Richard Hughes, up in Claire, just for a promotional plug. <laughs>